This evening, because she has given us this time and moment to be here in this crusade, and I believe this evening, Ginger will never be the same again. Because I know there's a lot of believers in this ground. I want us to pray for three minutes. We invite the presence of God in this place. Just raise your hands wherever you are. And go before the Lord for three minutes. Invite the presence of Jesus in this ground. Let the power of the Holy Ghost reign in this ground. Let the anointing of Jesus reign in this ground. Pray, pray now in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm inviting in this ground today, my God and my Savior, I believe Jehovah God. You have sent us to Uganda. We have come all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. Because Lord, you have a reason and a purpose for the people of Uganda. And Lord, I pray any forces of darkness, the strong man of this area, hear me right now. I'm Bishop Peter Monge. From Nairobi, Kenya. One thing I've uh, realized in Uganda, you love visitors. Even us in Kenya, we love you people. Can somebody say hallelujah? I want to read the book of Genesis chapter 49. Verse 19. And the Bible says, Bible God through shall trap upon him, but he shall trap at last. Let's go in the book of Mark, chapter 5. Mark, chapter 5. Mako in Sulaya Kutanu, verse one. Then they came to the higher side of the sea, to the country of Galdenis, and which he had come out of the boat. Immediately they met him out of the troop, and man with unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the troops, and no one could find him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains. And the chain had been pulled apart by him. And Shako broke in the pieces, neither could anyone tame him. Amen. Amen. I've read I've read two books. Genesis chapter 49 verse in the verse 19. The Bible says when Jacob was blessing his children and you know the culture of Jews when the old man was in his age he called his children and speak blessings all cursed. So Jacob called uh, his 12 sons and he started to bless one by one. When it comes the turn of God, his son, he spoke blessings upon his son God. He prophesied to his son God and he said to him, God, 
It is God anyway. The truth will defeat you at first. But at the end you will defeat them. That was the prophecy to God. As long as God is But our enemy Satan is the one who brings this tormenting and frustration. 
salvation in our lives. But there is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. in your life. To fulfill the, the, the prophecy that God has already spoke concerning your life. Hallelujah. Amen. This man, when Jesus set him free, the Bible says he started to preach the gospel. He preached everywhere. And God used this man to bring people to the kingdom. But if you can see here, at the beginning, they have tormented this man. And the family of this man could not be able to, to, to understand that there is a prophecy in, his fam in their families. But the devil will torment them at the first. But at the last, God will defeat his enemies. He's praying for you tonight. He loves you so much. 
Dio. Amen. Amen. Just come, just come. I'm waiting for you. I'm calling for praise and worship team to come. I'll lead us with one number. A worship song. And then you are going to pray. I'm waiting for you wherever you are. Those witches and wizards that have been roaring around in your family. We are going to speak the blood of Jesus in your life. And you'll never see them again. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus above all demons and forces of darkness. He defeated Satan 2,000 years ago. And he, uh, he, uh, he takes the power and authority from him. And he's praying for you tonight. So can you read us with one song? As you're going to pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just raise your hands wherever you are as we worship the Lord. Thank you, Father. Express something from God. Express something from Jesus. Because Jesus will do it for you.
worship him, worship him, worship him. Praise his name, praise his name. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy, he's worthy. And when he heard that Jesus is coming to his town in Hyper, he said in her heart that I will go and touch the, uh, the aim of his, of his garment. And when he touched the garment of Jesus, her blood stopped at that time. From that time he, re he, uh, he received her healing. Everybody just close your eyes. Because we are going to touch to touch the other uh, end of the garment of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Maybe you are here tonight. And have not yet surrender your life to Jesus. You cannot experience the love of God when you are outside there. You are supposed to enter to the kingdom of God to experience the love of Jesus. To experience the blessings of Jesus. Maybe you are here. And you'd like to say, Jesus, I want you to come in my life. I want to be born again, Christian. There was been tormenting my life for many years. Today, I want to give my life to Jesus. If you're here, you can raise your hands. I want to see you. The one that will give your life to Jesus. Jesus is here to set you free. Jesus is here to save you. He will give you eternal life free. He will not charge you anything. He died to set you free. If you're here, you can raise your hands. Anyone want to give your life to Jesus? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for those who are, thank you for that hands. Appreciate the Lord, appreciate the Lord, appreciate the Lord. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yes, you can come here, my, our brother there, just come. Our sister, just come. Anyone who has uh, raised his hand, just come here. Let us appreciate them as they come. There is a joy and happiness in heaven. When people come to Jesus, there is a joy in heaven. God bless you for taking a step. You will never regret. Me was born again 25 years ago. Until today, I still experience the love of God in my life. Amen. Amen. Even you, I want to assure you tonight, you will never regret. Jesus will take care of your life. Amen. Amen. Just raise your hands. You, you, you can get a, a microphone. Extra microphone. Do you have ashes to come just close to them and give them the mic? Amen, amen, amen. I want you people to repeat before and after me. And Jesus will set you free. Say, Lord Jesus. Everybody say, I, uh, those four people say, Lord Jesus. Repeat, repeat. We have come before you. We are sinners. But forgive us, Lord. Today I have received you, Jesus. As a Lord and Savior of my life. 
I don't want Satan. I want Jesus. From today, I will live for you. I will serve you. Are you hearing me? Are you understanding what I'm, I'm praying? I think our sister here, they need a microphone so that they can hear and Yes, I need assist her with microphone. We want the devil to hear that you are. We have received Jesus in your life. So let us repeat again. Say, Lord Jesus. We have come before you. We have come before you. We are sinners. We are sinners. But we have repented before you. But we have repented before you. Wash us, Lord. Wash us, Lord. From today, from today, we will not, I will not serve Satan again. I will, serve Satan again. I will serve the Lord Jesus all the days of my life. Jesus, I have received you as Lord and Savior. And from today, I will serve you. I will, serve you. I will live in your house. I will stay there. I will stay there. All the days of my life. Satan from today. We are divorced with you. I have divorced you now. I will live for Jesus. Me and my family. We live for Jesus. We thank you, Savior, for saving me, for cleansing me, and accepting my life. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus! Let us pray for them now. Just close your eyes. I want to pray for you. Father, I dedicate these four people to your holy hands. They accept you and receive you as the Lord and Savior. I pray for their protection. My God bless them in the name of Jesus. I separate them with the forces of darkness. No weapon portion against them shall prosper. The hand of the Lord will rest upon them. I release Abrahamic blessings upon them and their families. In the name of Jesus, I speak the blood of Jesus over their lives. I plead the blood of Jesus in their families. I declare from today, Jesus will rule their lives. So that you can, you can talk to him for a while. Yes, for a minute, and then we'll be blessed. Let's celebrate them as they go. In Jesus' name. Those who are here tonight, and you have been tormented by the forces of darkness, maybe you are sick in your body, maybe your family have been tormented by death and, sin and diseases, and you want Jesus to heal you tonight. I want Jesus to touch you tonight. I want you to come here just here in front of me and I will pray for you. And Jesus will touch you. Just come, just come, just come. If you want God to Jesus to touch your life, just come here. And God will do something in your life. Don't fear people. You are coming to Jesus, you are Lord and Savior. Don't say I will be seen by my friends. 
You are coming to see Jesus. Just come, I'm waiting for you. And I assure you after this prayer, tomorrow you'll come here and testify what, has God, what God has done in your life.